we pay all the time. You know, it's something that we do all the time, and we can't wait for government. You know, these these are crises that need to be sorted out same time. And I've been asked that question before many times, and even on your, on your program. You know what? Are we doing the work that the government should be doing? And I keep saying the problem is they need to change their systems how they operate. Individuals, you know, can't take the decision. They mean well, but the system ties their hands, and they need to change the system. This is an emergency. You can't. It's 14 days. You can't be having a hospital that doesn't have water for 14 days or is intermittent water at a time when you're trying to catch up backlog from between the second wave of COVID. And before you can catch it up, you're hit by the third wave, and all that time is lost. Plus, you're carrying patients from Charlotte McKecky Hospital, which has been closed, and I can't understand why for so long. I mean, the whole hospital didn't burn down. It was only one part of the hospital that burned, and surely at least two-thirds of the hospital could be functional by now. What's the delay? And all that pressure is on this hospital. And in addition to that, there's one more problem. The CEO on a program said yesterday, I haven't spoken to her, but I heard her. And she said, people from the community are coming for water to the hospital because they don't have water in their areas. So it's not only the hospital. So now the hospital has to deal with its own crisis. It has to deal with people coming from outside. And you have the risk of too much people being there and a high risk for COVID-19 in the third wave. So it, government has to look at the system and you need to act fast to, to, to intervene, to, to solve the problem. To answer your question, this is donor money. The money is coming from donors who are readily have come forward. And in fact, even many of the doctors within the hospital want to support the, the bowl drilling.